Hey guys, Jamie with the Summer Rain Channel. Welcome back. Today we're gonna make a do-it-yourself moisturizing hand wash. I had so much fun making this. So normally when I try to make something, if it's a new ingredient or an ingredient that I'm not super familiar with, at least when I first started, I would mess up all the time. Like all the time, nothing's turning out in the way that it should. And they were simple little mistakes, like putting stuff together in the wrong order. Like I wanna say there's an order of operations, but I know that's not the right term, but there is sometimes a specific order in which you have to do stuff. So in this video, I kind of wanted to show you what happens if you put it together in the wrong order and that it's a simple mistake that anyone could make and then the right way to do it. So I hope you like that change to the video. I did put the full recipe for this down in the description box below. So let's just dive in and make some hand wash. Let's take a peek at our ingredients for our hand wash. We have distilled water vegetable glycerin. Now we use vegetable glycerin because it's going to help with hydrating our hands. Xanthan gum. We use this to help thicken it up so we don't want it to be watery like what you would put in a foaming top. We want it to be more of like a gel-like consistency like hand washes. So that's why we need the xanthan gum. And then we have two surfactants. The first one, I'm not going to be able to pronounce the name right, so I will just put it on the screen. The second one is another surfactant, cocoa glucoside. And then we have avocado oil, again, because we want this to be hydrating for our hands, fragrance oil, and a preservative. And I know this looks like a lot, but it's really not a lot of complicated ingredients, so it is pretty easy to make. Let's dive right in. So these are what I would call my phase A ingredients. So we have our distilled water and our vegetable glycerin. And what we're gonna do is just pop the vegetable glycerin in with the distilled water. And then we'll just give this a good mix. And then we're gonna set this off to the side for now. The next two ingredients that we're gonna work with is our avocado oil and our xanthan gum. So just know that if you don't have avocado oil, legit, you can switch this out for any carrier oil that you'd like. It doesn't matter which one you want to use. I just had this one on hand, so I decided to use it. And the reason why these two are next is the xanthan gum likes to clump up into like little fish eggs, I guess you'd call it. So to prevent that, what we do is we go ahead and hydrate it in the oil. So when you hydrate it in the oil, it prevents those like clumps of xanthan gum from happening because it cannot clump up in oil. So it's like, I don't know, I guess you would call it like pre-wetting the xanthan gum. Does that make sense? So we go ahead and we put it in here. That way when we put it into our hand soap, we don't have a whole bunch of clumps. And this will take just a minute to mix up but it's gonna be a lot easier to mix it in here than it is if you don't mix it well and you wind up with clumps in your soap. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and set this off to the side for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a bigger mixing container. Right now, the order in which you mix things really does matter. So you might be thinking, hold on. What happens if I mix these two together? So in case you're thinking, why don't I just throw everything in the container and it will mix just fine? If you take your vegetable glycerin and your water and you mix it with your avocado oil and xanthan gum slurry, you wind up with this right now if you're following along i don't actually do this but if you were to take your container and you were to add your water and vegetable glycerin and then if we go ahead and we grab the xanthan gum and the avocado oil mixture and if we were to pop it in here now watch what happens when you actually pop it in here immediately once it hits you're going to get little fish eggs if you can see them in there and you do not want to do this. So we can't mix these two together, right? Um, because you're going to get the fish eggs. So what we need to do
is start by grabbing a bigger mixing container and we're gonna put both of our surfactants in here. Once you have both your surfactants in your mixing container, now you can go ahead and grab your xanthan gum slash avocado oil mixture and we can pop that in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and just mix this up really good. So notice the difference here. Like in the last one, when we put the slurry into the water, you wound up with weird fish eggs. This way, when you mix it with the surfactants, you're dispersing that xanthan gum even more. And it kind of turns to like a, I don't know, paste-like consistency. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the fragrance oil. And then we'll just go ahead and mix that in there also. It's kind of like you're diluting the mixture and you're slowly hydrating it so it doesn't clump up on you and you're able to get to like a soap consistency relatively easy. And now once we have this, we can go ahead and add the water to it. And then we'll go ahead and mix it up. And as you can see, this isn't quite like water consistency. It's a little bit thicker and it's going to continue to thicken. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab my container while it's still pourable. Like I don't know if you can tell the difference already, but just from a couple seconds ago, that's already quite a bit thicker. So now that this is starting to thicken up, we do still need to add our preservative and you have to have a preservative because anytime you add water to something, it has to be preserved. Otherwise it's gonna grow some nasty funk. And the last thing you wanna do when you're trying to wash your hands is be putting like bacteria and mold and whatnot all over it so just add your preservative give it a really good mix and as you can see like in the few minutes that this has been sitting here i almost feel like it's too thick to try to pour into my soap container so i'm going to go ahead and pipe it in i like to use a baggie anytime stuff looks like it's going to make a mess trying to get it into my container so go ahead and grab your cheetah cup <laughs> and I'll just put this baggie in here. And we'll just pop our hand wash in there. Go ahead and zip it up. Ooh. And then you're just gonna wanna cut the very tip of the baggie. Grab our container. And doing it this way is way easier than trying to pour it in when it's that thick.
And then let's go ahead and get the last little bit there. Grab our lid, put it on, and then let's go ahead and test this out. I just grabbed a bowl of warm water and let's go ahead and test out the hand wash that we just made. So you have to remember with hand wash, when you add the oil to it, it's gonna be good for hydrating your skin and keeping some of those oils on there, but it does get rid of some of the bubbles. So you wouldn't have as many bubbles as you would if you didn't put the avocado oil in there which I'm okay because I feel like my hands are so dry, they need like a hydrating hand wash. So I feel like you still get quite a bit of bubbles, but maybe not as much as you would get if you didn't have the oil. So if you want one that's more bubbly, maybe don't add you know, avocado oil. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy making your own hand wash. Bye.